Bumper covers are damaged in accidents every single day. A tear in the face of a bumper cover is one of the most common types of damage. Polyvance's airless plastic welder can be used to repair this kind of damage. In this video, we will describe our repair process on a polypropylene bumper cover. First, we clean the damaged area with plastic cleaner to remove the contaminants from the surface. We aligned the tear and applied aluminum tape to the cosmetic side. Aluminum tape is used to secure the tear and prevent melted welding rod from pushing through. Next, we prepared the backside for welding. Using a die grinder, we exposed the raw plastic around the tear, about half an inch on all sides. Then, we began our airless plastic weld. This bumper cover was made of polypropylene, so we selected Polyvance's polypropylene welding rod in the round 01 profile to match. To make a proper fusion weld, the filler rod must be the same type of plastic as the base material. It's also essential that both the filler rod and the base material are melted and mixed together. First, we use the tip of the welder to melt a small indentation in the plastic along the tear, and then we push the displaced plastic back into the indentation. We then fed the welding rod through the tube in the tip and onto the melted plastic. Once we applied enough filler rod, we used the welder tip to mix the rod and base material together and smooth the weld. The key to this type of repair is to only work in small sections. Don't try to weld too large of an area at one time because the plastics will cool down before you have time to thoroughly mix them. We continued to weld all the way down the tear using this method. At this point, the backside weld was complete. Once the backside weld was cool, we removed the aluminum tape from the cosmetic side and applied it over the weld on the backside. We cleaned the cosmetic side with plastic cleaner to remove any adhesive residue. We sanded the repair area with 80 grit sandpaper to expose the raw plastic. Then, we welded the cosmetic side the same way we welded the backside. We melted an indentation into the plastic along the tear, pushed the melted plastic back into the indentation, fed the welding rod through the welder tip, and pushed the filler rod onto the melted plastic. Once we applied enough filler rod, we mixed the welding rod and base material together and smoothed the weld. We worked in one to two inch sections at a time until we finished welding the tear. Once the plastic was cool, we removed the tape from the backside and sanded the weld down with 80 grit sandpaper. At this point, the welding was done and the repair was strong. With the welding complete, it was time to start the refinishing work. Our repair was a little low, so we needed to apply filler. We sanded the surrounding area with 80 grit sandpaper, followed by 180 grit sandpaper. We removed the dust from the area and applied two coats of adhesion promoter. Next, we applied Polyvance's Flex Filler 2 epoxy and allowed it to cure. We then sanded the filler with 80 grit sandpaper, followed by 180 grit sandpaper. Next, we scuffed the paint around the repair area. We removed the dust and applied two coats of adhesion promoter. We applied our first coat of Polyvance's Blackjack Waterborne Primer and block sanded the primer with 320 grit sandpaper. After that, we applied spot putty where it was needed and then block sanded the putty with 320 grit. We removed the dust and applied our next coat of primer. At this point, we were satisfied with the appearance and ready to have the bumper cover painted.